Dear students, now we are going to discuss measurement of power in transmission line and solve the problem. In general, power can be measured using the formula P is equal to V into I that is equal to V squared by R that is also equal to I squared into R. Correct? This is the general formula to measure the power. The same can be used in transmission line. Power of the transmission line can be measured in terms of voltage using the formula P is equal to V max squared by R max that is also equal to V min squared by R min. In terms of current, power is equal to I max into I min into R naught. So here I max means maximum current, minimum current, maximum voltage, minimum voltage. So we can use this formula to find out the power value okay now we are going to derive the v max r max v min r min and this i max values okay so here we can take the voltage and current equations of dissipation less line at high frequency here dissipation less line means what zero dissipation line okay we have already derived the voltage and current equations of zero dissipation line in the previous lecture video we can directly use that equation over here. The voltage of dissipation less line V is equal to Vr into Zr plus R0 divided by 2 Zr e power J beta x plus K into e power minus J beta x. Okay. We can simplify this expression as V by Z. That is nothing but I. So here we can say Vr by Zr is equal to what? Ir. Okay. We can write V is equal to IR into Zr plus R0 divided by 2 e power J beta X plus K e power minus J beta X. Consider this as the first equation. Okay, that is voltage equation. So next we can consider the current equation. So this is the current equation of zero dissipation line. Okay, I is equal to IR into Zr plus R0 divided by 2 R0 e power J beta X minus k e power minus j beta x. Consider this as the second equation. Now we have the general equations of voltage and current. So next we are going to find out the maximum voltage and maximum current of the transmission line. So for that we can take the modulus value. So modulus of V max that is equal to modulus of IR. What is the first equation? Here IR into Zr plus R0 divided by 2. Here it is 1 plus modulus of k because modulus of e power j beta x that is equal to modulus of e power minus j beta x both are equal to 1. Hence this first equation can be written like this ir into zr plus r0 divided by 2 into 1 plus modulus of k. Do you all understand this one? This is the maximum voltage in terms of magnitudes alone. Okay. Next we can consider the I max value that is equal to IR into Zr plus R0 divided by 2 R0. The second equation into 1 plus modulus of K. So why do we use this plus sign? That is the question right? Here it is minus but here we are using plus sign. Because whenever we are considering the maximum voltage we can use plus sign. We are going to add the values of this reflection coefficient. Do you all understand this? Whenever we are talking about maximum voltage or maximum current, we can use 1 plus modulus of K. If it is minimum means we can use minus sign. Okay. So now we have obtained maximum voltage and maximum current of the transmission line. Okay. Then the maximum impedance at load can be obtained as V max by I max. As we all know that what R is equal to V by I. The same concept. So, V max by I max, we can substitute those values here. So, V max value is what? IR into Zr plus R0 divided by 2, 1 plus K. V I max value is what? IR into Zr plus R0 divided by 2, R0 into 1 plus K. So, 1 plus K, 1 plus K, we can divide. Here it is IR, IR, Zr, 2, every values are cancelled except this R0. So, we here we can say 1 divided by 1 by R0 that is equal to R0. Okay. So here R max value is equal to what? R0. Do you all understand this? This is very important one. Okay. So next we are going to obtain the minimum current and maximum voltage 
occur at the same point on the transmission line and both are in in phase that means here in this reflection okay so if it is the transmission line in case of open circuiter line this is the voltage correct this is the voltage waveform in case of current for this open circuiter line it is minimum correct for open circuited it is minimum so this one is current this one is voltage so voltage is maximum means current is minimum at the same point here voltage is maximum current is minimum that is the concept so whenever the minimum current and maximum voltage both occur at the same point then both are in a in phase condition so here we can take the ratio of v max to i min what is the value of v max ir into zr plus is s r not okay then we can write i min value okay, what is i min value ir into zr plus r not divided by 2 r not 1 minus k so whenever we are talking about minimum value we can make this sign as minus so we have to subtract the reflection coefficient from the value 1 okay that is the minimum value so now we can divide all those values but here it is 1 plus k here it is 1 minus k then we can get the value as v, v max by i min is equal to r naught into 1 plus k by 1 minus k so what is 1 plus k by 1 minus k that is standing wave ratio yes so here we can write v max by i min is equal to s into r naught that is nothing but another formula for this maxima resistance okay so here r max is equal to what s into r naught whenever the maximum voltage occurs the resistance is also maximum that is equal to s into r naught okay the last condition is minimum voltage and maximum current okay whenever the voltage is minimum the current is maximum at the same point and both are in phase okay so here we can take the ratio of minimum voltage to maximum current that is equal to ir into zr plus r naught divided by 2 into 1 minus k here minimum voltage so it is 1 minus k divided by i max value is what ir into zr plus r naught divided by 2 r naught 1 plus k okay so we can divide all the terms over here then we can get the value as r naught into 1 minus k divided by 1 plus k 1 minus k divided by 1 plus k is nothing but 1 by s yes. okay we can get the value as r naught by s yes. so whenever the voltage is minimum we can consider the resistance value as minimum resistance so r min is equal to v min by i max that is equal to r naught by s yes. so now we have obtained the parameters of v max i max v min i min r max r min values so finally we can substitute those values in this power formula okay so power of the transmission line can be measured using the formula p is equal to v max squared by r max that can also be written as v min squared by r min so both are equal if i am going to multiply these two values together then we can say power squared correct p is equal to v max squared by r max the same p is equal to v min squared by r min so we can multiply these two values to get power squared we can get the value as v max squared into v min squared divided by r max value is s into r naught r min value is r naught by s yes. so we can divide these two values okay then we can get r naught into r naught r naught squared then we can take the square root on both the sides to get the power p is equal to v max into v min divided by r naught so this is the formula we are going to use this formula okay so in terms of current we can say p is equal to i squared into r so i max into i min into r naught so so we can measure the power of the transmission line using this formulas okay let's solve one important problem using power measurement okay a lossless line has a standing wave ratio of 4 the r naught value is 150 ohm and the maximum voltage measured on the line is 135 voltage find the power being delivered to the load so first we have to write the given data from the problem so s is equal to what 4 standing wave ratio s is equal to 4 r naught value is 150 ohm 
V max that is maximum voltage is equal to 135 volt. We are going to find out power. So power is equal to what? V max squared by R max. Okay. So in the solution part, first we can find out the value of this R max that is equal to S into R naught. Correct. So V max value is given. So we can use this formula. R max is equal to S into R naught. What is the value of S? 4. R naught value is 150. Then we can get the value as 600 ohm. Okay. Then we have to substitute those values in this power formula. V max squared by R max. What is V max value? 135. The whole square divided by 600. Then we can get the answer as P is equal to 30.375 watts. Do you all understand?